What's going on gamers? Wanted to give you some quick tips on Solo Flawless New Dungeon, Spire the Watcher. As you see here in the beginning, you need to activate the four switches at the main hub. So when you kill a Minotaur, I go ahead and pick up that buff. Pretty much solo, the best place to kind of like learn all the switches is to just run around and kind of see what connects to what when you first get in here solo and kind of plan a route for you. It's okay to go slow. It's just you have to understand every time you activate a switch in the middle hub, more ads are going to spawn. Please pay attention to those Cyclopses and watch out for the supplicants. These ads can push on you very quickly and cause a death. I would definitely use like Bonk Hammer if I was on Titan or Arcnades to spam. And if I was on a Hunter, I'd probably use something like a Liar's Handshake build or Assassin's Cowl, you know, punchy eliminating ads trinity ghoul is really good for this for ad clear and i know some people use like xenophage to take out the cyclopses as well other than that once you activate these four switches you're going to be headed on inside again just make sure you're paying attention to your ad clear and taking your time i did realize that when i was shooting these that i would sometimes skip one so it doesn't hurt to kind of like right when you enter this room See what you have to shoot and kind of learn your route and see which way you'd like to go. I kind of skip the jump parts because mainly people want to see how the encounters are done. What I noticed about doing the encounter where you have to ascend here and shoot the switches, you could ignore a lot of these ads. I mainly just got my buff on each floor and I have Arbalist on just in case if the uh, Hydra would shoot me at all. but. Most of the time I would just ignore these ads. Like if you come around the corner and there's a lot of them grouped up, yes, kill them. But a lot of the times you can just go around the other side of this platform and ignore the ads and just shoot the switches you need to do and move on. As you see, I seen the Hydra here. Didn't want to take that risk, killed it. Some of you don't know, if you don't see a Minotaur spawning, you might have to kill a Hydra to make the next one spawn. So if you run out of time, please make sure that you find that Hydra and kill him. Each floor is different every time you go up. So again, it doesn't hurt to walk around and see what switches you need to shoot. Make sure when you're shooting that one right there, you do not go in that elevator. I actually died on that day one by the electricity. I don't know if a overshield or a healing nade can save you there, but stepping into that electrical current could end your run and we don't want that to happen. A lot of things that people don't understand either especially shooting the switches now or in the next encounter you directly don't need to shoot it as long as you shoot it on like the side right there see how i had like a weird angle on that it does activate so don't think you need to be right up on the switch there's the ads i run right past them there's no reason to kill them um when i first started doing this run i was like maybe i should kill these ads but then i just realized like hey let's just ignore them this top floor got kind of confusing because you're always looking around as you see i thought one was there but i realized hey you know you gotta move a little more there's ads here it could cause a death so again please make sure if you want to kill those ads you can but other than that you can really keep it moving i'm sure people can just shoot this whole floor with only having one buff from a minotaur and ignoring all the ads so if you can risk it for the biscuit i would do it just because again you're just trying to get a consistent run in and get to the harpy boss as fast as you can and try and output high dps speaking of harpy boss i chose high energy fire being on my titan the reason why i didn't want to use um font of might was just because i was really worried about making elemental wells and interrupting my dps obviously if you're on a well you don't want to use high energy fire because it doesn't stack anymore but I was thinking as a warlock for this encounter to maybe run Nova so you can pitch that Nova at the end. What I'm doing for this is running a high RPM auto rifle. This is the auto rifle from Garden, actually. The Reckless Oracle, love this thing. There's multiple weapons you can use. You can actually use a trace rifle, like a legendary trace rifle, but then you're putting double special on because you definitely want to run a grenade launcher for weak and clear debuff, get that 15%. Make sure you have on solo operative as well. That gives you another 15% buff to everything that, you know, your nades, your abilities, your guns, your super. If you don't have that mod yet, it's okay, but make sure you pay attention to DPS. 
A few things I learned is that a longer DPS phase is triggered if you shoot the eyes fast. So you might see that you have more time to DPS the boss if you shoot the eyes fast. So when I shoot the eyes in this run, I actually um, shot them pretty quick, but I didn't DPS long just because I wanted to show people a safe route. So you can scoot up with the boss and do a huge DPS phase, or you can kind of scoot up with the boss just a tiny bit and right before the boss does the push, you jump down in this hallway. Yes, you drop down that hole and hide from the boss. I think just to knock out the solo flawless run, you should drop down because you just, you never know what game mechanics can knock you out of place. But if you choose not to drop down, the boss could push you and has a chance to knock you off your run. Or you have to stay back here the whole time to make sure you don't get pushed. So as you see, I realized that I hop, I hit my auto rifle already, so I switched to Wither Horde. As soon as I switched to my heavy, bait and switch is procced. I have high energy fire, good DPS. Again, I could do better. Right here, I could just shoot again and I could keep it going. I could scoot up a little more. I could keep shooting, I could keep shooting, I could keep shooting, I could keep shooting. And then DPS would have ended there. So again, I just wanted to play safe and I wanted to show you what to do there. Once you rinse and repeat, you're gonna do it again. I did notice that running ad clear weapons like Trinity Ghoul here could help you as well to take out those harpies. One thing I wanted to point out going into damage, the ads will despawn if they're near you. The harpies don't. The harpies will keep shooting you. But as you've seen there, those minotaurs kept shooting me as well. Wanted to show you what aspects I was running there for ashes and char solace to provide tons of scorch and stacks of incandescent for ad clear going into damage for the final boss i did use a hothead rocket launcher i've seen some pretty insane dps phases with warlocks using a demolitionist rocket launcher to my knowledge the vog grenade the vog rocket launcher can roll demolitionist and also the hothead if you have a demolitionist hothead with explosive light that is doing crazy dps right now with warlock fusion nades starfire you can spam nades spam rockets and weather horde that guy right there when you bonk him if you're using a bonk camera or a melee build on a warlock or a hunter please make sure you jump i actually threw a bonk camera at that minotaur and it ended my run when i'm in this room i realize that i can take my time what I try and do is, is I see what two nodes are connected shooting into the other room. So what I'm gonna do here is activate both. So I know I'm out of this room. I don't have to pay attention to that room anymore. And going into DPS, I need to make sure for a couple things with my Titan build. I need to make sure that I have Arctrician. I need to make sure that I have Roaring Flames up and I need to make sure that I have Heavy in my Super. So I'm running Elemental Charge with Melee Wellmaker every time I make a bonk hammer kill i make an elemental well when i pick that up i become charged with light charged with light is going to give me high energy fire why do i want to keep roaring flames up it's because i'm running syntoseps so if there's a chance that i can proc bionic enhancement i'm using my hammers to dps the boss right here i tried i needed three enemies didn't work so what i'm going to do is hit the wither horde a rocket a little bit of energy so my energy and my heavy can reload once I do that twice, I spam hammers, counting on my hammers to do damage, the explosions to do damage. This could easily be a five phase, but I choked, so I had to do a sixth. What I'm gonna do there is swap out again to a wither horde and rocket. I didn't get greedy there. As soon as you finish damage, you should go into the other room. The reason why is the wyvern cannot get into that room. So please go into the other room while the door is closed kill your two hydras, rinse and repeat, take your time, watch out for those supplicants and understand where they are. This is me going into my final damage phase, number six. Again, this will get cleaner, but again, please take your time in this room. This whole solo flawless dungeon is all about endurance. How long you can stay alive. Runs will get faster, but I hope me voicing over this run gave you some tips and tricks and GG's out there. Go get the dub. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.